Now this one, if you observe here, you can see um, an employee utilization report as in um, you understand how your employees are getting utilized month by month. Um, which resource below is allocated to which project in which month? And uh, stuff like that. And if you see the same is trended up on your bar graph. So if I click on any of the bar graph, you can hover over them and you, you can get to know the resource name also David Hill. And for the January month, he is allocated for 585.42 hours, practically not possible. Maybe he's working for for five months work in just one month. Maybe you can understand this is just about the data, but yeah, um, uh, this is a demo data. But if you click on the plus, you can see uh, David Hill's capacity is 164, 160 hours but he's booked for 558.42 hours. So yeah, this this gives you a very good glimpse if your data is uh, well organized and you can understand how, how exactly your allocations look like, who, are, who have done for exactly the committed number of hours, meaning the number of hours that they are booked onto, how much number of time entries they have done uh, as of now. So if you see Daniel Bach here has a time entry of one hour here for uh, no allocation done, but that's also an interesting thing to see that people are not committed to the project, but they are doing time entries to the project and stuff like that. So this is one of the beautiful view that I always like to see and um, um, as management can take a beautiful decision on this report as to how their employee utilization is looking like. This is uh, another beautiful report. If you see a project overview trend. Well, you can actually see uh, a good uh, trend of all the reports and uh, how each project on this line uh, and its manager and how may, uh, many number of hours in each month are the allocations spread it across. So if you see X project, the first one has 103.33 hours in January, Feb, March. There are no allocations due to some reasons. I don't know, but April, May, June. So the allocations are spread across. So if you would like to have a glimpse of what allocations for which project looks like in each month, um, would uh, this report definitely helps you. So you understand totally on this particular project, how many number of hours have been allocated till now. This also helps the project managers take care of the budgeting that they are not over allocating the team members and keeping themselves within the budget. The magenta or the pink color line that you see over um, here running is the availability of the resources that is available but at the moment we have not fully utilized the capacity only in the month of april we have been able to utilize the complete um, availability of the resources but yes we do have some gap here where people are free available but not being allocated onto the project at this point of time well, um, one more uh, nice report. Let me just show you. Again, it's with respect to resource allocation, but when you can see more uh, of uh, signaling here is you can see the current week on the left hand side. You have all the list of um, allocate uh, resources. This is the current week uh, allocation and you can see some colors. So colors, colors flying around is like eight hours. A person works for eight hours a day. And so uh, if they are completely allocated, they will be a green in color. If they are less than eight hours allocated, they will be yellow in color. That gives you a sharp um, sting that yes, people are available uh, for more allocation. Well, if they are over allocated more than eight hours, it will be red in color. And if you would like to see and drill down and see what exactly they are allocated onto, you can right click on them and click on drill through and go on see the uh, uh, allocation details and you'll be able to understand all right um, on 26 this particular resource was allocated in three different projects and uh, um, for 1.5 hours on one, 8.8 and 6.5 hours. Likewise, so total goes to 8.80. So um, that is how the spread is. So 
yeah this is another piece of use case that so you know um uh, these two widgets actually uh, on the top uh, two kpis i would call help me a lot to take a lot of management related decision and if your company is 76.12 percent allocation allocated means they are having active work of 76.12 percent I would still not call it as a bad uh, shape of the company because they are completely um, or near completely allocated. A company with 100% allocation will not be able to function as effective as it should, uh, but that's an ideal scenario always businessman looks at. Uh, but based on this, if you see uh, this resource has not been allocated uh, since the beginning, Maybe this catches the eyes of management and say, hey, why is this resource not allocated? So you start questioning and asking if he's sick or non-performer or the project manager doesn't like him and he doesn't take um, uh, active uh, participation in completing the task. Maybe then the management can take uh, uh, some decision as to whether do we want to keep such resources or move them out or hire some skilled resources which are like over allocated and uh, have a lot of overloaded of work. So such kind of skilled resources are in high demand. So maybe they take a decision to hire such more skilled um, resources in the organization.